Replacing the chain on your bicycle is not a difficult task. We'll show you how to do it and give you some helpful tips and hints to make the job a lot easier. Let's take a look. Things you'll need is the proper chain with a master link. If it doesn't have a master link, KMC produces master links for almost every speed chain. Make sure it matches your particular chain. You'll need a chain hook, a chain breaker, and optionally a master link tool. Uh, we show you in a video how you can install a master link without a master link tool if you take that route. Most manufacturers suggest you keep the packaging lubricant on the chain for about the first 100 150 miles before you relubricate the chain. There are some exceptions to this and we discuss this in the description below the video. Take several pictures of your rear derailleur so you can see how the chain threads through the pulleys. Notice how the chain wraps around the guide pulley underneath the guide tab then comes down to the tension pulley underneath the guide tab and around. Shift to the smallest chain ring and smallest cog in the back. Rather than trying to remove any master link that might already be on here, I just go ahead and apply my chain hook to give me enough slack. Using my chain tool, make sure that the pin is lined up perfectly with the rivet and then go ahead and remove that rivet completely. Carefully remove your chain hook. and lift the chain out of the cassette and chain ring. Lay out your old and new chain side by side, link for link. At one end, we'll have just the inner links of the old and new chain. At the other end, we have the old chain with just an outer link, which will be replaced by the master link. So we're going to want to mark on the new chain this particular pin for removal. Completely remove the marked pin with your chain breaker. Again, being sure to line up the pin with the rivet. You can hold that in place with your thumb as you begin to tighten and then completely remove the rivet. It is important to note if there's any writing on the chain, if it's on both sides it probably doesn't make any difference how you place the chain in. If it's only on one side that writing usually points out. There also may be an arrow on the chain links themselves and that usually points in the direction of pedaling. I find it easiest to shift to the large chain ring. Place the chain on the large chain ring. And then go ahead and shift to the small chain ring and move your chain onto that small chain ring. Then go ahead and feed the chain over the small cassette. Just push down on the derailleur over the top of the guide pulley and under this metal retainer right down here. Then over the top of your tension pulley, under the retainer, and pull that, go ahead and pull that through. Using our chain hook, 
we'll bring the various parts of the chain together. We'll make sure that any arrow is pointed in the direction of chain movement and the writing is on the correct side. If you're not sure, check the brochure that comes with the chain. Next, we're going to take our master link, the drop of lubricant on each of the pins. Some master links will also have an arrow that should point in the direction of movement of the chain. Go ahead and of the chain. Go ahead and install these. We'll place the pin of the master link such that they're towards the middle of the master link and check that it's done on both sides. We will slowly remove the chain hook and either using our no tools method for pulling the pins to the outer portion as described in the upper right hand corner or with a chain tool such as this park tool insert it pull the handles out and the pins should move to the outer portion of the master link and check that that is true on both sides to make sure it's fully engaged If you have things to add or other tips, please comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.